so uh, Great Bear, uh, it's a relatively new company. Uh, just so you know, uh, some of the key players involved are uh, John Robbins of uh, recent Kamenak fame, uh, Jim Peterson. Uh, we've got some very strong directors uh, in the company. My partner, Bob Singh, he's been involved in the Red Lake District for about uh, 18 years now. Uh, we've got uh, Doug Ramshaw, David Terry, very senior industry guys. Um, and then we've got uh, Tony Ricci, our CFO. So a very good team has been put together around this company. Uh, it's relatively new. There's a very tight share structure. There's only about uh, 23 million shares issued and outstanding, even after uh, closing our placement today. Uh, this year, we've raised about $2.1 million, and we're doing a uh, 10,000 meter drill program uh, right, right in Red Lake. So I'll get into that here right now. So Red Lake, why is Red Lake an appealing district to work in? Well, I, I've done a lot of uh, different exploration programs all over the world. These usually involve uh, helicopters, remoteness, and a great deal of money that uh, becomes, uh, gets burned up in uh, jet fuel or some other thing. Here in Red Lake, uh, we're about a 15 minute drive from downtown Red Lake. So the crew houses in Koshner, uh, our, our core shacks in Red Lake. Um, you basically drive down the highway past these big head frames um, there's, over, there's over 40 million ounces uh, mined uh, in that map, or 40 million ounces of known uh, gold, uh, and then there's about, uh, I believe, about 30 million ounces mined. So the picture that you're looking at is an extremely prolific gold district. Our claim blocks are, are there in blue, so we've got uh, very big projects. And um, um, we just, uh, I just got back about three weeks ago from the property, and we call it Tim Hortons Exploration. So basically on the way out from the crew house in the morning, you can pick up your Timmy's, and uh, 15 minutes later, you're standing at the drill site. So very cost efficient, very time effective. So we benefit in this area from uh, excellent road access, infrastructure, the whole bit, as you can imagine. It's basically sitting right beside uh, the town of Red Lake. So what have we been doing? So the last nine months, how has the company developed? Well, you can see we've been actively drilling. We've completed about um, oh, 4,000 meters so far, and there's about another 7,000 that are coming down the pipe over the next few months. And the gold results, uh, if you can see, I think this is the pointer, the gold results here have been very good. So we're seeing the same sorts of widths and grades of gold mineralization that uh, are the hallmarks of the mined deposits in the Red Lake District. So this is quite remarkable. Uh, to be able to find um, so much gold in an area that has had uh, like 100 years of gold exploration and mining. So the difference is our project, it's about 15 minutes uh, drive outside of town in a different belt of rocks. Um, and it's got about oh, maybe a five or 10 meter till cover on it. So uh, unlike big parts of Red Lake where you can go and see the bedrock and just pick up a sample, here you've got to do geophysics and then drill for it. It's probably why all the gold is still in the ground. Uh, for us, that's a huge advantage because a lot of uh, the, the exploration work that I and others have done in their careers is brownfields exploration. And there you're trying to add resources, ounces to an existing gold mine. There's a lot of that going on in Red Lake right now. It can be good, you have infrastructure, but it can be bad as well because if you have gold resource that's near an existing stope, that can be very difficult to mine. My background, I'm a structural geologist, it's also in underground gold mining, so I've done it uh, a little bit and know a thing or two about it. Um, but I'd, I'd like to just move on. We have very good gold in, in the drill core. You can see the sulfides, uh, the silicification, and the VG. Um, and you can't really uh, tell the grade of the, uh, the gold when you see the visible gold coming out of the hole. It could be portion, uh, portions of a gram, or it could be ounces. Uh, but you know you're in the system when you see this combination of material reliably. So what do we have here on our project? looks like we have a very big gold system. And that's what really makes this outstanding uh, from a new discovery type of perspective. Um, although the initial drill discovery work was done by tech back in the late 1980s, what we're finding is that system that they drilled extends now, we've got it to hit in drill core over 2.3 kilometers. So when we took on the property earlier this year, it was drilled over about 500 meters and we did most of our initial work in there. What we're seeing now with our step out drilling, and this was announced this morning is that we have a very big structural contact that runs along the property. It actually looks like it extends for about 10 kilometers. I'll show you that later on. But every drill hole, and there's 160 drill holes on the project, every hole, uh, which is about 90 of those holes so far that have hit this contact, 
across 2.3 kilometers, every one of them hit the system. And there's no misses in that. There's no holes that didn't hit gold mineralization, uh, the gold mineralized system in there. So when we see the core that we've just drilled, um, the assays came out this morning. There's some high grade hits uh, that were from parallel zones uh, in here. We were exploring for new parallel targets. Uh, we've got very high grade mineralization uh, coming in what we call our hinge zone here. And we tested a hole. We put a hole more or less at random across uh, what looks to be a fold repetition of the system on the other side. And we hit the same kind of stuff, silicification, sulfides, and gold. So it opens up. Uh, now we have this limb of the target, um, which again, we've got, go we've, got um, we've hit the system over 2.3 kilometers. And now we're starting to hit it as we go around the other side here. So it opens up this entire perspective belt as well. So it's a very exciting uh, new story. Um, this is how we've performed in the market uh, over the last nine months. We were about 15 cents nine months ago, uh, traded up into the 20 cent range and up. Uh, we just closed to financing at uh, 50 cents here. So move along. What do we have? Lots of high-grade gold hits. So this is a compilation of historical, uh, historical gold hits on the project, along with gold hits that we've generated um, in the last uh, six months or so. And keep in mind, Red Lake, um, all that gold that's been mined, about 30 million ounces, it averages about this wide about two meters, right? So that's what makes a mine here, is about two meters of, you wanna get a third of an ounce, half an ounce, that kind of material. That's what we're aiming for, and that's what we're seeing in our drilling so far. So this is what our Dixie project looks like as a whole. It's about 23 kilometers long. Here's the area where drilling has taken place now. Uh, we've just stepped out along into this area and we've hit the system again. We're waiting for the assays there. And then we see the same contact extending all the way up here. Uh, that's over 10 kilometers. So uh, I'll, just, I'll just move on. But keep that in mind. Keep, keep in mind the scope of the system. And this is really what gets management excited, is this project looks like it's yielding all the same hallmarks of the existing mines, the gold mines in Red Lake, but it's a brand new uh, discovery. It's a new property. That there's no existing mining on it yet. So what we see in the main uh, area, the initial area, that 500 meter area that was drilled, was it looks like a big folded sequence. There's a structural contact along here. It's between a tholeitic basalt and some other uh, basalts and sediments on the other side. And like I said, every hole that's hit that contact so far has gold in it. This is what it looks like in a long section. There's no holes omitted from this section, so uh, we're not hiding any data. Basically, every hole that pierces that uh, target has gold in it. What you see, uh, which is very, very uh, diagnostic of Red Lake, is higher grade zones that plunge down. These, uh, we've got uh, five, five grams plus shown on this uh, section, but uh, really the same pattern holds for the 10 gram plus material. Uh, we've seen up to 160 gram material in this stuff. So you see these steeply plunging high grade zones, and I'm gonna show you here, uh, what you see in other similar deposits. We have a neighbor up there, uh, Pure Gold uh, Mining. They've got about a two million ounce resource. Uh, this is what a uh, portion of that resource looks like in the area of historical mining. So you can see it's these high grade uh, veins, effectively, uh, that are mined out. You can see the existing stopes. And then you can see the hits on the drilling and it's steeply plunging gold zones within uh, basically a structural or vein contact. And you can see out of the work that we've done, uh, what really makes this stand out for us is that again, there's no misses uh, along any of that, uh, the contact that we have on our project. Here, um, very typical of Red Lake, this is a very good deposit, what Pure Gold is working on. You see they drill, the red are hits, and the white ones are, are holes without any gold in them at all. Um, we have the hits, uh, what we don't have here, I think, is the misses, which is fortunate. And this is a really sort of broad comparison of what we're looking at at Dixie Lake. This is a cutout of that uh, 10 kilometer trend that we're targeting now. And this is uh, the main Red Lake mine and the adjacent gold deposits. So there would be uh, somewhere in the, the neighborhood of about 35 million ounces of gold uh, mined here uh, on this section. Uh, this long section. I inserted our uh, current drilled area uh, for scale uh, up in the top right corner, and I did it again down here. We're really just scratching the surface here. Now, I'm not saying we have 30 or 40 million ounces on, on our project, but what we do see is the same sort of widths and uh, grades of high-grade uh, zones that are plunging within a contact. It's the same kind of thing. So as we step out along this, uh, we want to see how big the system is and how many of these high-grade zones will end up developing. We know we have them here, 
And uh, the drilling that we're doing, we're certainly seeing the same sort of material generated here. Um, what I wanted to mention as well is that grade generally increases with depth in Red Lake. So this is the high grade zone at the Red Lake mine. That's several meters thick of um, multiple ounces per ton. That's a hell of a deposit. But it's much higher grade and thicker than the mineralization that's been mined up above it. So what we're actually kind of seeing the same pattern in the drilling that we've done, uh, like holes that we put out this morning, uh, were uh, basically increasing with grade and thickness when we went to depth as well. And just very briefly, because I know I'm running out of time, um, what we see is we, did a, we, we, we went from our area here, which is about 500 meters uh, long is drilled, stepped out 850 meters. That's a massive step out along that contact, hit the same kind of uh, looking material, and stepped out another 750 meters along the contact and hit that material again. There are historic holes along here uh, that uh, are basically on the wrong side of the contact that we're going to follow up with again. Uh, that hit it another kilometer along here. And our our prospector that we brought the project from was sampling some uh, five or six gram material along the same contact here, uh, which is about five kilometers uh, along strike. So very briefly, I'm going to have to skip our other, uh, our other project. What you could look forward to uh, through the rest of the year is more drilling, um, more high grade gold, uh, increasing size on the zone, and hopefully um, continued performance. So that's us in a nutshell. Please uh, pay attention, and maybe if you have time, uh, read the news release that we put out this morning. Thank you.